What's up guys, this is Dr. Rush from Rush Chiropractic Center. Today we're going to talk about lower cross syndrome. Lower cross syndrome, let's start out with what it is. So lower cross syndrome, when you're looking in the mirror, if you're standing sideways, what you're typically going to see is an anterior tilt in the pelvis, meaning your butt is sticking out, you've got an arch in your lower back, belly might be sticking out a little bit, um, Hips are generally tight with this. So you're going to feel tightness in the front of the hips. Uh, really, the biggest thing people notice and patients ask me all the time is, why does my why does my butt stick out so far, and why do I have this big arch in my uh, in my low back? So let's go over the reasons why this happens. Lower cross syndrome is a postural imbalance that results from tightness of muscles on one side or one area, and weakness of muscles on another. So typically the muscles that we're gonna see that are getting tight in a lower cross syndrome or overused, tight or overused, are gonna be um, our hip flexor muscles. So our hip flexors are very tight uh, and our lower back muscles are very tight. So that's gonna be our first part of the cross. Hip flexors, lower back, or our erector spinae. Our next are gonna be our weak muscles, our underused muscles, our underactivated muscles. So those are going to be our deep flexors of the trunk, um, our abdominal muscles, the front of our core. Our other weak or underutilized or underactivated muscles are going to be our glutes. So here's the second part of your lower cross. Glutes and abs. So coming up this way. That's what's going to give us this forward anterior tilt of the pelvis causing our butt to stick up and our low back to be arched. So how are we going to take care of this? Well, first thing to do would be to start activating what's underactivated. So our glutes, um, our deep flexors of the trunk, our abdom abdominals, our deep core muscles, the deep front part of the core. And we're gonna start stretching what's overactivated or um, there's too much tension in it or whatever it may be. So our hip flexors, we're gonna stretch those out. Uh, our low back muscles, we're gonna stretch those out and try to regain this balance that's gonna tip our pelvis backward, neutralize our spine, and take pressure off the low back spine and discs. 